Emergency planning is underway in Nova Scotia ahead of Hurricane Lee. Nova Scotia Power says it's taking the storm very seriously and is developing a strategy to ensure a quick response to any outages. We work with our contractors both within Nova Scotia and outside of Nova Scotia in New Brunswick and other provinces uh, on availability. We start to lock down crews as we get closer to the, um, the storm hitting the province. And by Friday, we'll have uh, crews staged throughout the province. The utility's biggest concern, high winds. While we work year round to um, do vegetation management and tree trimming and remove those trees as far away as possible, the reality is there are still many trees throughout the province and we expect those will be the repairs that we're making if trees come down and land on our power lines. Drover expects hundreds of workers will be on the ground this weekend. The province's emergency management office is also working on its response. We've been uh, preparing and uh, meeting with all our key stakeholders, uh, reaching out to the fuel sector, uh, telephone companies, um, Bell and East Link, uh, fuel companies, Imperial and Irving, uh, as well as municipalities. The Red Cross has placed its volunteers on standby and supplies are being repositioned across the Atlantic region. Shelters are always, are always our go-to for these kinds of responses and it's always a collaborative effort with the community as well to make sure that the needs of the people are being met and that we're not missing any gaps there. We have a crank flashlight, but it's also a good idea to have a crank or battery powered FM radio. Both EMO and the Red Cross recommend having an emergency kit stocked with 72 hours worth of food and water. Meantime, U-Haul says during times like this, propane is a dependable fuel source. It expects dispensers to be extremely busy over the coming days. Sky Bride and Blom, Global News, Halifax.